Welcome to Fox Tech. In today's video, we're gonna walk you through how to accept a legacy contact on your iPhone. This is a crucial feature introduced by Apple for users who are concerned about the fate of their data after they pass away. We'll cover everything you need to know from accessing the settings to sharing the access key with your designated contact. First, let's talk about the purpose of a legacy contact. Apple introduced this option to help users ensure that their data is managed properly after they pass away. Accepting a legacy contact essentially means adding another person to your account who can access your data in such an event. It's a simple process, but it can bring great peace of mind. To get started, you need to access the legacy contact settings. Open the settings app on your iPhone and tap on your name at the top of the screen. This will take you to your Apple ID settings. From there, select password and security and then scroll down until you see the option for legacy contact. Once you're in the legacy contact settings, tap add legacy contact. You will be presented with some details about what this means and what access the contact will have. Review this information carefully before proceeding. When you're ready, select a contact from your phone to designate as your legacy contact and tap continue. After selecting your legacy contact, you need to share the access key with them. This key is essential for them to access your data. You can share the access key physically, perhaps by printing it out, or you can send it through iMessage. Keep in mind that the recipient must have updated Apple software to receive and use this key. It's important to understand what kind of access the legacy contact will have. They will be able to access your synced iCloud data, which includes photos, videos, messages, contacts, files, calendar, and call history. However, they will not have access to your iCloud keychain passwords or any media purchased through iTunes. This distinction ensures that some of your most sensitive information remains secure. Finally, remember that any access requests made by your legacy contact are subject to Apple's verification process. This step ensures that the person requesting access is indeed your designated contact and that all necessary criteria are met. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to Fox Tech and liking this video. Your support helps us create more content like this. Peace.